Following the non-violent agitation that led to the killing of environmental rights activist Ken Saruwiwa and eight Ogoni Martyrs, which led to the closure of OML 11, which has a production capacity of about 250,000 barrels per day, the federal government has been losing billions of naira. Sadly, the non-production of crude oil has not benefited both the federal government and oil-producing communities in Ogoniland in the last 33 years. In what appears to be a shift to allow for the resumption of oil exploration in Ogoniland, the people are demanding for the establishment of Ogoni Development Authority that will be funded by the 20% accruing benefit from the resumption of oil activities in their domain. 20% of the profits that is made from natural resource extraction in Ogoni should be committed to Ogoni development. That is the way forward. When that money comes out, it will create jobs. It will address infrastructure. Ogoni people, we are ready for Nigeria to do a new thing with us. This crude was given to us so that we will benefit. After an extensive deliberation and input from all stakeholders, the Mosab group led by Fegalo Insuke bred the communique where the people called for transparent negotiations with the federal government before the resumption of oil exploration activities in their land. Congress resolved that the leadership of Mosab led by Fegalo Insuke should negotiate the 20% Ogoni interest in natural resource extraction in Ogoni and ensure that this interest of Ogoni is won and brought home. Is that the, is that the resolution? Yes. Congress demanded compensation for livelihood losses due to decades of oil pollution in Ogoni. Do you agree to that resolution? Figalo yes. Insuke is also calling for an end to division within the ranks of Ogoni people so as to fast track the objective of Mosop and condemn the transformation of the organization into an economic venture, contrary to the advocacy mission of late human rights environmentalist Ken Saruwiwa. Abajo Sekwe, AIT News, Bori.